Hey guys, welcome to my Diablo 3 video. So, um, if you play Diablo, you know what Witch Doctor is, obviously, and you probably, you're probably watching this video because you want to gear up your Witch Doctor, but you don't really know what to do. So, I'll pretty much show you. I mean, I've been playing this Witch Doctor for quite a while now, about like, I don't know, 50 hours. I got him to Paragon 20, he's pretty fun, so, um, might, might as well make like a little guide tutorial on how to gear up a witch doctor under like a little budget. I mean, I spent about 100 million gear, 100 million gold in this guy's gear, so I'll show you how to, you know, build them up for like maybe if you're not really rich like I am, uh, you can just get a little tiny budget and you can get yourself some decent gear. So let's jump right in this. So the first thing you want to spend your money on the most is probably your weapon. So we're going to probably spend most of our weapon on, most of our money on this weapon. So... What you want to go for is a Manajuma's carving knife. That's what I personally like to go for. You don't have to go for one, but I recommend it. So let's search for that. We're going to look for one with a socket, obviously, and lifesteal. And we'll see what we can get. Maybe at least 2.5 lifesteal. We'll see what we can get. Alright, so I'm going to try to go maybe under 700,000 in this one. So we can actually get another gear. Now, the thing about this Mana Jumas, that's not the right, that's not the right number, uh, the Mana Jumas is it doesn't have very high DPS, but it does have a socket. And well, this one right here, we have about 70% crit damage, 3% life, good intelligence for 50k, 500k, let's go for that one. So now, we have our weapon, pretty good. Now what we're going to go for is on our offhand, our mojo. I personally like the Thing of the Deep. I think it's really fun to use because it has really, really high um, gold pickup radius, which actually helps you a lot. I'll talk about that later, but it actually helps you. So I'm going to go ahead and go for a Thing of the Deep here. Now I'm going to look for one that has crit chance, and I don't think I can have crit damage, can it? No, I can't. I'll just go with that as crit chance, maybe at least three. Let's see what we can get. Actually, you can have more than that, can it? Let's have eight. Seven. Okay. Um, I'm going to look for one that has average damage, maybe 250. Oh boy. Uh, 200. Uh, maybe we can go up to 220. So we're here with about 100k. Has a socket, too. Might be able to go a little bit lower than that for a budget. Maybe 200, actually. Um... You could go for one that has Vitality 2, maybe 100, and Mana Regeneration, of course, if you're going to go the Zombie Bears, but we'll talk about that later, too. Maybe at least 10 Mana Regen, let's see what we can get. Oh, boy. Uh, lower, maybe. Vitality down to 50. 20, I don't know. Uh, that's pretty good. So that'll pretty much help us. We're about... Um, 800,000 gold now, so now we're going to go for our actual gear. So we're going to start off with a helmet, because I want to want to get to this quick. Zunimasa's four-piece set, in my opinion, it is extremely important. You have to have the Zunimasa set. What's so important about it is, if you can look here, it's actually right there, you can look at the set. Set 2 gives you plus 130 intelligence, set 3 gives you 55 resistance to all, and set 4 increases your mana regen by 20 per second, grants 10 mana per kill. This The 4 set is really important, because I'll get to that later, you know, with the build and stuff. I'm just going to do gear right now. So we're going to look for a Zunimasa's with, obviously, a socket. A uh, socket, some vitality, and intelligence. Now you can get one for with that, that has a crit, crit chance on it for maybe a lot more than this, but it cost a lot. I mean, I got mine for about 29 million at crit chance. So this looks pretty good here. I'm going to get this one for about 40k. That's a pretty good deal for a little starting item. So we're going to take that one. Now we're going to go maybe for Zunimasa's Trail, which are the boots. So take those. I'm going to go for one that has intelligence, obviously, and vitality. Now, these things usually come with, um, what's it called? They usually come with movement speed. So, you know, free movement speed is always pretty nice. You can actually, if you can't find a good deal, you can take Vitality off, and it might reduce the price by a little bit. So we have this one. 142 Intelligence. 
That's pretty good. Let's take that one. Alright. Um, next thing we're going to go for another Zuni Moss is actually the Pox. It's a pretty good thing. That's a ring, so we're going to go for the Pox. Now, it's kind of hard to find a good one here, but you can probably end up settling for a decent ring. But if you have enough money, you can buy a pretty good one. So it's pretty high average damage there. Maybe go to like 10. So what you want in all rings, obviously, is crit chance and crit damage. And obviously intelligence, so let's put that there. Oh boy. Let's see. Take off average damage. Hmm. Let's see, we could take off intelligence. Oh, I'm stupid, I forgot that you have to, can't have it with the crit damage if you want to get a cheap one. Okay, that's not going to work, apparently. Oh my, okay, my mistake. Um, I forgot that you can't get one with a crit chance unless you have a lot of money. So, I mean, that's not this kind of build, so I forgot. Um, you can't have crit chance on the Zuni Moss's Pox unless you have a lot of money to spend. I mean, you saw the prices. There was like 10 million, 6 million is the lowest. But you can eventually probably get one of those. So I'm going to go for one with crit damage, obviously. And average damage, of course. We can actually get that. Maybe like 20. Let's see. Maybe, I don't know. Could test it. Yeah. 15. 12. 10. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. This one has 32%. They all have the same crit damage. Uh, oh. I'm going to go for this one. Because it has that extra magic fine, which could be kind of nice. So we have that. Now we have to go for another ring. We can't have two poxes, because that doesn't work. Um, we could go for a unity, but we don't really have to. Like it's not you don't have to have a unity. I'm just gonna prefer a unity, or you know you don't no you don't really have to have a unity. I, I, I just prefer to get one. But look for one with crit chance, crit damage, and intelligence. Uh, maybe crit chance four, crit damage thirty, intelligence maybe seventy. You get this one. It's got physical resistance too, that's pretty nice. I'll take this one, it's pretty cheap. It's a good deal for a decent starting ring. Okay. Uh, now let's actually get into like, the gear. For the belt, I actually got a Witching Hour. You don't have to have one, but I'm just going to go ahead and see what I can get for a Witching Hour here. They usually all have all resistances, but these things are actually, I'm not going to do this. They're pretty expensive usually. So I'm going to go in more, more like the tanky-ish survivability gear now. So I'm going to look for a belt with... All resistance, vitality, intelligence. Let's see, maybe like, two, uh, oh god, hundred, hundred intelligence, maybe seventy all resistance. Maybe lower this to about, actually, hundred would be good. And yeah, let's see, what we got uh, it's got physical resistance, which is pretty always, always pretty good for ranged. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. Pretty nice belt. Okay. Now for a. Well, we already got boots. Bracers. Let's see, I'm going to go for crit chance. Maybe 3% crit chance at least. All resistance, vitality, and intelligence. Let's see, maybe at least 70 all resistance. 50 vitality. 120 intelligence if I get lucky. Oh boy. Um, let's get nice intelligence. Decent vitality. More physical resistance. 80 resist all and 30. 3% crit chance. That's pretty good. I'll take that one. It's a good deal. So right now we spent about a million and a half. We have eight items, as you can see. So it's pretty good. We're almost done here. Uh, chest armor. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Zuni mosses. I think it's... I think it's marrow. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's marrow. So um, they all have three sockets, usually. Like, all of them always have three sockets. It's guaranteed. So I'm going to go ahead and try to find one that has decent intelligence and vitality. Because they all have all resistance also, I'm pretty sure. Positive, yeah. Okay, maybe about uh, that much. 100 vitality. That's pretty good. For starters, that's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that one. We spent about almost 2 million now. It's, we're still good. We're still doing good. Um, gloves. We can go for maybe all resistance. Crit chance, crit damage. And intelligence. And maybe vitality too, because why not? Let's go for maybe three. Wait, I think they can go up to like nine, can't they? Oh, they can. Um, well, we can't afford that, but maybe 5% crit chance at least, and maybe 20 crit damage. All resistance, maybe 70. Vitality, at least 50. Oh, uh, we'll lower this to like 50 then. 
Maybe 40. Yeah, put it 40. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, we can put it at 50. Okay. Intelligence. Maybe 100. Just kidding. Uh, this one looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. If we could lower vitality a little bit, because these things are usually expensive gloves. We're getting decent gloves. Let's see. Those are pretty decent. I mean, you want to usually spend a lot on your gloves to actually give you good damage. So, I'll take these. That's good. That's pretty good. Okay, now we have to go for pants. I don't think we got our pants already, did we? We did not. So, let's get pants now. Yeah, we didn't get pants. So, you want to get Zuni pants, of course, too. I think it's... I think it's... I don't even know what it is. It's not vision. Wait a minute. Oh, as soon as I said you have pants. Oh god, I'm stupid. Uh, just go for regular pants. Uh, has sockets too, of course. You always want two sockets on pants. Always. It's really helpful. All resistance, maybe 80? Eh? Yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe 100 on this one. Oh boy. Take off vitality. There we go. Intelligence, maybe 150. We can probably. Nope, just kidding. These look pretty good. Uh, they're they're not the greatest, but they're decent. Take those. We might as well. Okay, now. Now we need shoulders. I'm probably gonna go for a vile ward on this. Vile ward. Uh, vitality. Well, they usually, eh, I'll take that off. Uh, intelligence. Maybe, well, they, they usually just come with your main stats. I'm gonna put, like, maybe 250. I don't know about that. Yeah, 220. Oh, boy, 220. Maybe 250? We could buy this for 1 million. We could. Has bonus armor, too. They all, they all have bonus armor, don't they? Yeah, they do. Can I have... All resistance of at least 80, but take this down, obviously, to maybe like 200. 500,000? Yeah, I'll go for that. It's pretty good. Okay. We spent about 3 million so far. I think we need one more item and we're good. I'm not sure. We need... I think we're done. Alright, I think we're done here. S oh no, we need amulet. Whoops. Uh, probably gonna... Let's see if I can get a Tal Rasha's. Might be able to. I think it's... Allegiance, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna try to go for one with Vitality, which is usually like a buttload expensive. If you get like, you know, a good, good one. Actually, let's not do that. Let's go for one that has crit chance and crit damage. Maybe eight crit chance, which exists, right? Oh boy, we're not doing that. Uh, let's put crit chance, general. And intelligence, obviously. Oh Jesus, okay, take off crit chance. Maybe like 150? Hmm. 200. Okay, we might, might be able to get Vitality in there. Maybe 100 Vitality. 200 Vitality. Oh jeez, uh, 250 Vitality. You know what, I might just go for this. That's actually decent. Um, I'm gonna personally, if I were leveling up a Witch Doctor and I had the extra million to spend, which we actually do because I've only spent about 3 million so far, I would definitely go for this. That's actually a pretty good amulet. I mean, if it doesn't have crit chance, but it doesn't have to have crit chance to be, you know, decent. It kinda does, but not really. I mean, if you don't have enough gold to spend, then this is pretty much your best bet right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. We've spent about 4 million, which is pretty good. We have our full set. So I'm gonna send this to this Jash and get in the game and put the gear on. Oh, this is going to take a while. Oh, God. Alright, well, I sent all the gear to my stash. It's all right here. There we go. So this is all, this is all the gear we just bought, so I'm going to put it in my bags, obviously. And put it on, we'll see what we got. So, I actually have star gems, as you can see, which a lot of you probably don't. So, the damage and health and stuff that I have will probably be a little bit lower for you guys, considering you may not have stars or radiant stars like I do. You may have, I don't know... I don't, I don't really know, but um, you may not have star radiant stars, but I do. So I want to put the gear on here and see what we've accomplished. Oh boy. So I'm going to put my gems in. Put 
all those gems in there. Kaboom. Oh, I'll put this ring on too. Alright, boom. So right now we have, as you can see, the four-piece Sunimasas. Pretty good. Alright, so here's the build. Um, I'll go over the build in a second. But right now we have 37k health. That's pretty good. We have about 86k damage, normal, and about around 850 resistances to all. 30% crit chance, which isn't that great, but you could definitely get that better with more money. You could definitely get that higher. And 370 crit damage, which is pretty decent for starting out, so... Altogether, we could probably do Monster Power 2. Um, this is on Monster Power 2, as you can see right now on Inferno. So, now this looks like a good time to go over the build. So, basically, I prefer running the Zombie Bears build on my Witch Doctor. I think it's fun. It's really, really flexible, in my opinion. But the only thing I don't think it's the greatest at is killing single-target mobs. Like, if you get, like, a champion pack running at you, it's going to be kind of hard to kill it, but not really, if you have the proper gear shin. So here's my build. I like to go Spirit Walk with Jaunt or Honored Guest. If you don't have enough mana regeneration, I don't I don't think this does have too much. 76, that's... Oh, that's decent. I would go ahead and take Jaunt for my... I mean, you can put it wherever you want, but I would take Jaunt for, um... My second ability, this is where it's completely up to you, in my opinion. I prefer to take Grasp of the Dead with oh, Groping Eels, which means that this little thing I'm about to put on the floor, that does about 416% weapon damage over 8 seconds, which is kind of nice. So I do prefer to do that. Or if you don't want to do that, what you could do is you can maybe take Locust Swarm with Pestilence. What this does is it, like, it's like this looks like this. It, like, puts a dot on the target. I'm pretty sure you know what it is, but it puts a dot on the target, spreads around. Yeah, it's kind of fun, but I don't, I don't really like it. You may, so you can take it. What you also could take is Horrify with whatever rune you want, it doesn't really matter. And it's just like pretty much like a fear, like you just cast it and it fears people around you. Or you could do, this is one of the more common ones, you could do Mass Confusion with Paranoia. What this does is, if you take it, you basically, here I'll give you an example, a little example, like see that little area that it's cast? Pretty much all the enemies that were in that area as I casted that are going to take an additional 20% damage for 12 seconds. So that could be pretty good. I personally don't really like to use it, but, I mean, it's really all up to you. But I per I personally like to use the Grasp of Dead with Groping Eels, but it's all up to you, like I said. Now for three, this, I cannot stress this enough. This, you have to use this ability. You have to use Soul Harvest on a Witch Doctor. I repeat, you cannot play Witch Doctor and be successful without having Soul Harvest. Read this. Feed on the life force up to five enemies, so basically you can cast it like this and take five enemies around you. Basically, for every enemy you get, you get 130 intelligence for 30 seconds. That is so unbelievably helpful. Like, 130 intelligence times five, what's that? I don't know math. Uh, 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 six... Let's just say 620, I don't really know, around there. That's an extra 620 intel intelligence uh, at all times, which is pretty good. So I like to use the, yeah, you have to have this ability, I like to use the Vengeful Spirit build, or Ruin, not build, um, basically whenever you cast it like this, it does about 230% weapon damage, which actually be, could be really well. Like just run into a mob like this, cast it, it'll all take damage, it's pretty nice. So for your next thing, this is where it's kind of also opinion, opinion, in, yeah, what, how do you speak English? In p opinionated in my opinion. You could either take Fetish Army, I like to use this because you can just do it like this. Take that. And these little guys just follow you around and help kill your enemies. And I use the rune that reduces the cooldown by 90 seconds. And it actually, usually it's up. Like you cast it and it's back, usually back up within 30 seconds. I'll explain how that happens in a few minutes or a few seconds, I don't know. But what you could also take for it is maybe you could take Big Bad Food. This is probably the second most important, or not important, but the second best choice you have. You could either do Rain Dance, where if you don't have enough mana regeneration, you could ch choose it, and you could, basically, it's like a little area, and that area, like, gives you mana regen, like a, an extra 122 mana regen, which is pretty nice. You could take that, or you could take, I don't know what the other runes were, uh, Slam Dance, it increases the damage of all people who stand in by 30%, which is actually pretty good, too. So... But I prefer to use Fetish Army, or else what you also could take is Zombie Dogs. I hate Zombie Dogs, to be honest with you. On Normal, like on Normal Mode, they're pretty good, but on Inferno and Hell, they're really useless. Unless you're going to run the Sacrifice 
Dog the Infinite Sacrifice build. I don't. I haven't really ever tested. I've tested it out like once, but I haven't really actually farmed with it for a lot. I tested it. <laughs> I spent about a hundred million on it, and I didn't even like it. So I kind of got pissed off how I wasted all that gold. But you know, I tested it out. It was fun while it lasted, but it got boring really fast. Like basically, what it is about is like you just summon zombie dogs. You get items to the point where it's cool down on zombie dogs zero seconds, and you can just keep spamming the zombie dogs and sacrifice. And it, it was, it was kind of fun, but not that fun. Anyway, uh, fetish army, you could use either zombie dogs. If you do use them, you should use, in my opinion, you should use the, where the hell are they? Holy shit. Uh, lifelink. Basically, every time they get hit, you they take 10, every time you get hit, they take 10% of the damage. So, I don't recommend it, but yeah. Alright, so, uh, passives now. I, this, I think, in my opinion, that Grave Injustice is definitely the best passive which Doctors have. Basically, a little sum up of it is every time an enemy is killed within 8 yards of you, you get 2% of your maximum life and 2% of your maximum mana back. And all your abilities are reduced by 1 second. That's how you can keep Fetish Army up almost all the time with, his, with this, because if you're farming, that's pretty nice. Now, my second one I usually take, I take personally Pierce the Veal. But, I mean, you could also take Blood Ritual if you don't have enough mana, because with my regular build, I have decent mana regen. So, you could, um, well, it really does, it really does depend on the gear. Like, usually if you, I, if, I would definitely take Blood Ritual, so I'm going to take in this, uh, this case, because, you know, you don't really have, this isn't the greatest build, or gear build. So I would definitely take Blood Ritual. So, basically what it is, is... 15% of the mana costs are paid in your life, but that you get 2% uh, of your life back. So I'm going to take that, and Gruesome Feast, very important too. Every time you pick up a health globe, you basically get 10% extra intelligence, and you get 10% of your extra mana. So it's pretty nice. And the intelligence bones can stack up to 5 times, kind of like Soul Harvest. So yeah. Now primary, this is where it kind of matters, because if you have, let's say you have, uh, I don't know, a hundred mana regen. You could, I mean, you could, like, a hundred mana regen for just your gear. You could go for Ghost Bomb. It's a pretty nice ability. Lag, don't got him lagging. What the heck? Oh, yes. It's a pretty nice ability. But I personally like to use Widowmakers more, because I find myself spamming zombie bears a lot more than I would use Ghost Bomb. So, what Widowmakers do is when you throw your spiders, each little spider, every time they hit people, you get three, you get three mana back. Not three percent, three mana. So you summon little mega spiders that return three mana to you per hit. So every time those little spiders hit, you get three mana back. It's pretty nice. And of course, the most famous ability zombie bears definitely must have for me. Yeah, so that's pretty much what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to farm with this. Should work. I'm in monster power two right now, so on inferno, I should definitely be able to do this. I'm hoping. I'm lagging. Oh god. Okay, lightning. So let's see what I can do. I am lagging. I want to try to fix this lag. Hold on. Okay, well, I fixed the lag a little bit, but let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and test it. Test the gear. We should, we should be good. Oh, this lag. This will go in a few seconds. Pretty sure. We'll go in a few seconds. So right now, we're, yeah, there we go. So we just kind of tore through those mobs pretty easily. Oh, this lag better go away. It will. It will definitely will go away in a couple seconds. So what you want to usually do in a fight is run in, castle harvest, and you get 5, five sacks, and you're pretty good. Right now my damage is 97k, which is really good. Um, for our gear, that's really good. So, we can, I'm going to go ahead and try to bump up the monster power a little bit. So, let's start recording when I get that shit back up. Alright, well I put the monster power up to 4 now, so... Let's go ahead, just try this out and see how see much damage that little thing is over there with the rune. Mental Spirit, that's why I think you should use that one. Pretty good. Tear through these mobs. I wanna, I wanna, I really wanna find like a elite pack. I don't lag it really bad, I don't know why. Oh, Jesus. I'm kinda tearing through these mobs right now, no problem. Yeah. Well, as you can see, this is pretty good at farming Monster Power 5, or 4. It probably could be efficient in Monster Power 5, too. I'm not doubting it. But keep in mind here that recording this video, I had, you know, Radiant Star Gems on. I have them on right now, actually. So, yeah, we can pretty much do Monster Power 4 without a, without a challenge. Um, 
I, you could probably do Monster Power 5. I would stick to Monster Power 4, considering I may have bought some gear. You know, I, I would just stick to... Knowing that I just did that easily, you know, without taking a lot of damage, I would probably just start farming a lot of, on Monster Power May 4. So, that's what I would do. Now, one little touch-up real quick, just a little thing to say. If you want to get a weapon, make sure it has lifesteal. Because as you can see, that weapon right there, 3% of damage is converted to life. That is really important. That is really, really important. Because, like, if you're putting out... A lot of people say that life on... I personally disagree with this completely. People say witch doctors need life on hit or else they'll be shit. Now, that rhymed. I'm a great poet. So anyway, I'm going to explain that real quick. People say life on hit's really good because... Basically, they're running the Splinter's build. This, this is what Splinter's looks like. See, so you're just casting those darts. Every time one of those little darts hits, you get, you know, however much life on hit you have back. But we're doing the Zombie Bears build, which does not use Splinter's, and it never will. So basically, it's either... These bears are hitting for once every time they go out. And this is how many bears go out. And you're getting, like, one life on hit. Or however much life on hit, I don't really know. You have, for one bear, that doesn't really work. So basically... A better idea is, maybe if, let's say that bear, the one right there in the middle, hit for, I don't know, let's say a crit for 900,000. You would get 3% of 900,000 back, which is, don't even ask me, I'm not good at math. Uh, I don't know, how 3% of 900,000, you would get that back, instead of getting the 1,000 life on hit you probably have back. So in my opinion, if you're going to run the zombie bears build, only if you're going to run the zombie bears build, maybe the sacrifice build too, I don't really know how to play that build, so don't ask me, but... If you're going to play the Zombie Bears build, you definitely, definitely need to have a weapon that has life on hit. Or not life on hit, oh Jesus. Uh, damage dealt. It's converted to life. Life steal. Do not get life on hit. Do not get life on hit. So, basically, pretty good class. I like it. I'm on Paragon 20 right now. So yeah, thanks for watching for this little video. Uh, you know, I hope you get as much fun out of Witch Doctor as I have. This is the gear that I actually use now, anyway. I hope you get as much fun as Witch Dark if I have. I mean, I'm starting to make uh, hardcore Witch Darters. It's kind of hard, but whatever. But yeah. So, But the builds really can vary. I mean, you can do whatever you want with the builds. Well, not whatever you want, but you have to use some abilities. Like, Soul Harvest is definitely, definitely, you have to have it. Um, What's this thing called? Spirit Walk? It's. I think it's important. I think it's pretty important. Considering it's like your oh shit button. It's like, what if you're stuck in like a jail and they're about to get frozen, and you're on molten, and you're unplagued. And you're like, oh, I gotta get away from that. You just do that, and you're away. So, because the thing about Spirit Walk is it does, uh, it breaks fr it breaks frozen, it breaks jailed, it breaks everything, pretty much. So, just a quick touch-up on this 5 million. This, this is what you can do with 5 million. Uh, 72,000, 72,000, whatever, damage, those resistances, crit damage, crit chance, that much health. So... You could pretty much just... I'm just taking my gems out so I can put them back in my real gear. You could pretty much just, you know, farm pretty efficiently until you can get enough gold. And you get that one lucky legendary that drops and you, you know, get all your gold back. but Or get all your gear that you want because you have a lot of gold. But then again, you have to farm a lot. So, well anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you in some way or whatever. This is a little example of the... Sunni Mosses that I'm using now, see how it has crit damage? You can't usually get that one unless you have, you know, a lot of money to spend. You may be sitting there being like, well, that's not much of a difference. It actually kind of is, because crit chance could actually help you. So, anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. And I hope this video helped you, you know, whatever. Yep, so, I'll be glad to help you. I want to put my real build back on it. Yeah, glad to help. So don't forget to like the video if you got helped. You got helped, yep, whatever. Yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, whatever. <laughs>